How much does it cost to hire a public adjuster? A lot of the clients that I work with want to know, and rightfully so, how much does it cost to work with a public insurance adjuster? And this is the quick response. We work on a contingency fee basis, and that means we don't actually get paid unless we collect for you as the policyholder from the insurance company what's rightfully owed to you through the claims process. And that is based on your policy and the legitimate property damage that we see. That can be from storm damage, that can be like hail and wind. That could also be from fire damage or smoke damage or water damage. And in Colorado and Wyoming, sometimes, especially on the eastern side of the state, it could also include tornado damage. But ultimately, we want you to know that we are hired on a contingency basis and our percentage varies depending on the situation, depending on if it's a named catastrophe and things like that. It can range and ultimately it is based on the situation that each client brings to us and depending on how much work it's gonna take and when we get involved. And so we like to get involved as soon as possible. So. I would just tell you that one thing that I want you to know regarding what we do is on average, we at Bellator Claims Resolution can get you up to 963% more than what the insurance company had offered in the first place. You have to question why the insurance company all of a sudden pays almost nine times as much when we get involved. Now, keep this in mind, that's not on every single claim, sometimes it's way less, Sometimes it can actually be more than that number, but this is the deal. You have to understand and kind of question, wait a second. So if I do this myself and the insurance company offers me a number and Taylor does it, how is he able to get so much more? And the simple answer is this. We do this on a daily basis. We are claims and coverage experts. And that means we can exert what your policy says and we are licensed to do so. And we can negotiate and adjust the claim with the insurance carrier, the insurance adjuster. We know how to prove the damage. Then we have a 56 point inspection. So the insurance carrier might come out and I've had this happen and say, look, you know what? The roof does need to be replaced. We'll give you $20,000. Okay, great. But what about the air conditioning or the HVAC on commercial buildings? What about the parapet caps? What about skylights? What about painting? What about landscaping? What about signage? The list goes on. And our 56 point inspection ensures that we get about, I'm gonna say 98% or more included on say a commercial property that belongs in the estimate and the scope of work that needs to be completed. We line item the scope of work and say, hey, this is what it takes to take this building from where it is now currently after the storm damage to back to where it needs to be, which was pre-loss condition. And so that's really the basis of what we do and how we get paid. And when the insurance company pays you, the consumer, we get paid through that by you as the consumer and the policy holder because we are actually collecting from the insurance company. Sometimes we take claims from zero dollars up to whatever it settles for and sometimes we take claims from small amounts to large amounts. So hopefully that answers your question. If not, let us know. My name is Taylor with Bellator Claims Resolution and I'm here answering your questions and that question was a good one.